Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video. Make sure you put your prayer quest in the bottom. Hope everybody's had a good day. I have felt a little bit better. I actually cut the grass. Think I got a hold of some bad medication, people. And man, antibiotics is what made me so sick, so evidently I can't take those anymore. So, you know, thank you all for all your prayers. Just always keep me in your prayers. Uh, I really appreciate everything you guys do. Like I said, you guys adopted me into your family, and I really appreciate everything that you guys have done for me and keep me in your prayers. I really appreciate that. I talked to you guys uh, early today about the sun. We've been talking about the sun for a while, but I do believe the sun is getting ready for the tribulation. That's why you see the hot temperatures. It's not global warming. It's gearing up for the tribulation. We're going to pause right here, and I'm going to show you what happened to the sun. Okay, we're back. Okay, we're back. As you've seen, that was a great, that's one of the biggest X flares I think I've ever seen. It was definitely an X1 to X2. I'm not sure how big. I mean, it was huge. Instantly, when the sun erupted at that size, it, the radiation bombarded the atmosphere of the Earth, and the atmosphere just lit up red. Uh, Gigi was talking about this earlier, that she's felt bad and everything else. I think a lot of us, and this, I do believe these solar storms are causing this. It's causing trouble in the magnetic sphere. Uh, I heard some other watchmen talk about when the sun went down and there was cloud cover, the temperature was still staying at around 97, 98 degrees. A lot of people discussing the temperatures and how hot. This year, they, there were so many people was dying in Arizona from the heat that literally they had to bring in refrigerated trucks to put the dead bodies. This is not only happening there, it's happening everywhere. Record hot temperatures never seen before, ever, by man. And I do believe, when it talks about in Revelation, about the sun scorching people's skin, that is right now gearing itself up. Everything that we're finding out right now is literally happening in front of our eyes. It says in Revelation 16, 8, the fourth angel poured out his bowl on the sun. And it was allowed to scorch people with fire. The fourth angel poured out his bow on the sun. The sun was allowed to scorch people with fire. So, like I said, I do believe the tribulation. It's not happening now, but it's gearing up. Everything's gearing up for that moment that's about to happen very soon. Same thing with Israel. Remember, I talked to you guys about uh, everything that was happening on Israel's border. Now, you're not going to see this stuff in the media. The best source for what's going on in Israel on her border is Monkey Works. And I did grab some of these uh, snapshots from him, which gives you a look at what is going on on Israel's border around the Lebanese and Syrian border. When you, when you get to see it for the first time, it will blow your mind because there's no media coverage of it. As I said, we've already lost our media, brothers and sisters. We've lost it. Uh, we've lost our, our media was gone in the tw uh, 2020. That was the end of media as we know it. They only cover what they're allowed to cover now. There is no freedom of press. That's gone. So these pictures I'm about to pause and let you see are the, the players that's on the border of Israel as we speak. Now, what you saw was Turkey, that's up in the northern, making their way down. Russia, Syria is there. They don't have their little flags, but you see the Russian flag. You see the uh, their Iranian flag. All these flags right there on Israel's border, right there, especially around Damascus. We all know what that means, okay? 
We see it. These are signs that we're out of here very soon. Today was one of the biggest things. Today actually fulfilled two prophecies. With, uh, with America and Saudi Arabia making this deal with Israel and really forcing them into it. And the Democratic Party in Israel. Like I said, they're on the verge of civil war. They really sold themselves out with this deal. And that's all, the deal's already in the process. It's already going through. There's no fighting it now. But what Iran or uh, Saudi Arabia will get in this deal is what Israel needs. And that is Israel will get to be able to fly in the airspace of Saudi Arabia. So if they want to hit Iran, they'll have freedom of that. And plus it gets them in with the Arabs. And Netanyahu made it clear when he became president again that he was going to try to make peace. Here we go with the peace again. And make peace with a lot of these Arab nations. And this is part of it. Now, you're going to say, well, Chris, you said there's two prophecies. Well, it talks about, in the end times, remember I've, I've talked about this, about this great food shortage that's going to happen in the tribulation. And we know that people's going to go hungry. Well, Saudi Arabia is already looking around. Now, they've already got oil. They don't need no oil from Israel. They've got their own oil. They don't need Israel's army. They've got their own army. But what they do need is what every Arab nation is going to need there is their food source. Israel is one of the top producers of food in the world, even more than us. They're way ahead of us in the farming methods and all kinds of other things. Israel is top of the line on everything. Technology when it comes to farming. People, they're growing stuff in the desert. If you don't believe there's a God, Israel is growing stuff in the desert and it's flourishing. Okay? So those of you that, well, there's no God, well, go try to grow stuff in a desert and see how it works. Now, if you go on the other side of Israel, stuff won't grow. But on Israel's side, it grows perfectly in the desert. Go figure. So, people, I'm telling you, we are in the last days, and Israel will have a major food source. Now, with all their food and everything, these other countries are looking forward to that. That's another reason why they'll try to seize that land after we leave, and that will be in Jacob's trouble. The Gentiles will go in, and they'll trample on them for a while. Now, in the mid-trib, that's when the desolation happens in the temple. I do believe, in my opinion, my opinion, as soon as the rapture happens, probably, let's say, maybe four weeks, the Antichrist will make his move to start rebuilding the temple, because that's, that's his prize. And, they, and he, the devil only has a short time. So he'll start to rebuild that temple. First thing, probably, after we're gone. That will be the first thing. That gets the Jews on the, gets them involved. And then halfway through, like, you know, the Bible tells us, he will make a desolation, you know. He will call himself God there in the temple. So as soon as we're gone, temple will probably be the first thing and this treaty and stuff that he'll be working on as soon as we leave. Soon as we leave. Now, if you're seeing this program, if you're lucky enough to see it after we're gone, the Antichrist, when he makes his move, he the rest of the world will pretty much give every bit of control over all the population of the earth to this man. I really don't know who he is. I don't care if it's Ronald McDonald. We won't be here. But for those that are left here, he will definitely control the world's population he will have all the answers after world war three happens there is a major shortage of food and clean portable water especially in the united states and in moscow and in europe it will be difficult to find a clean water source if you don't have water backed up into bunkers or in government bunkers you're going to really struggle to find food and you're going to have a hard time finding water. The first thing after the rapture happens in World War III, run on anything that's business-wise, and people's going to hoard everything they can get, what's left, and it'll be basically Mad Max upon the United States and in Europe and places like this. Down south, where they have depended on America and other countries to feed them, they will probably starve to death. Food will be something that you will not be able to get very easily. And if people catch you with it, they'll kill you for it. 
So this is what's going to happen soon after the rapture. Very soon. It won't be long. The rapture happens and World War III follows very quickly. Very quickly after we've gone. So if you're watching this, this is what happened. We was not abducted by aliens. I like to always make that sure because that's something they will feed. That's already been rolled out to the world. And a lot of people are already buying it. They think that ETs come here to help them and rebuild and do all this stuff. They're fallen angels. And they have no, no, uh, see, what's the word? Uh, they will have no will to help mankind whatsoever, but to destroy man as he is upon this earth. You're made in God's image. They will destroy you. And that's what they will do the whole seven years of the tribulation. And uh, like I said, the seven-year tribulation will not be no cakewalk. What's left of the population will be put into FEMA camps very quickly, and people will go there willingly. A lot of people will want water and food. The ones that are left, the non-believers, like I said, it will be rough. That's why we're not subject to wrath. Because if the church was here, you'd have to be forced to take the mark. Because a lot of people will take the mark to be fed. and God will not put the Christians through that because the church, let's say it better yet, the church, is the bride. He's not going to give the bride an opportunity to have to take that mark. It will not happen. That's why there's a rapture. That's why. I was talking to you about the uh, earthquake in China today. They've already had all this record flooding. It says a magnitude uh, 5.5 earthquake struck the northeastern China region on Sunday. And so there weren't really not much information, but there was a lot of damage. For a 5.5, it was really, really bad. And I was shocked by just, I guess it was just in a real bad area where there was a lot of people. But this happened after this Israel thing. And there was one in Australia, which they never get. And then the sun erupted today. So all that. And as we speak, Belarus is making a huge move on, her, on their neighbors. And I do believe that very soon, once we're raptured, and we might not even be raptured before they make a move on Ukraine, because that's, if they're already sending missiles across, that is coming. Just like we said it would happen. I mean, it's definitely happening exactly the way God showed many of us that Belarus and Russia will go into Ukraine full blast and that will start this nuclear war that's about to come up on the earth. A lot of people don't believe it, just like they didn't believe Noah was going to rain. I've tried to talk to people, warn people, they're like, oh, Chris, they're never going to have a nuclear war. They know better. I'm like, you don't realize what time you're in. That stuff is out the door. See, God's people, their lack of knowledge of where they are, not wanting to know where they are, is what dooms them. They're, they're like the five foolish virgins that just don't have the oil in their lamp. Now, it doesn't mean that, but the thing is, it's exactly what we're dealing with today. It's like people believe in God, but they really don't go the extra mile to really know what's happening. They really don't want to know. They're really more curious about what they're doing on TikTok and on Facebook and in the media and celebrities. Right now, for instance, the world is getting ready to starve. A lot of countries are already starving. Africa is falling apart. The world's at almost at World War III. And America is throwing a fit over PlayStations and rioting in New York City. If that don't tell you where we are, nothing will. Distraction, distraction, the stuff with Trump, distraction, distraction, all this stuff. The world is falling apart. China is just any time going to do a major blockade of Taiwan, which we'll have to get involved because they've already said they was going to. China is not going to let America keep sending weapons there. They will act, which will unstate. We don't have the troops and the manpower. That's why they're already talking about doing an American draft. You won't see that in the news. Let me tell you something. The Antichrist spirit is well ahead of everybody, including the church right now. I've been setting this stuff up since 2020. 
has been setting it all up. If you're awoke, what I call really awake at this moment, you see what he's done since 2020. That Antichrist spirit has set up everything. World coin, World Economic Forum, we could go on and on and on. The WHO now has control over almost every nation in the world. All they got to do is say pandemic now, and they can tell you, you can't leave your house, even in America. And you didn't even know it was happening. Now, you might think, well, what about these surveys? Now, like I said, I'll post these survey pictures. This is what's going over top of the United States as we speak. They've been doing this now for almost three to four months. We're talking over 6,000 or more surveys. This is what they do when they're getting ready to go to a war or a collapse. Put two and two together. And look at these pictures. And you will see what's going on over your head. And this is a light day. But Monkey does a good job of letting you know what's going on over top of your skies. These surveys are supposed to happen in October. But they've been doing them all summer. It's hard to do them in the summer because of all the leaves on the trees. So why would they not wait till October? What's going to happen in October that they can't wait for? Think about it. All the distractions that's happening around the world. India quit shipping rice. The wheat being bought up by China for the last couple of years. And now there's going to be a major shortage of wheat around the world. America, a lot of the wheat was destroyed from either grasshoppers, floods, or droughts. There's not enough wheat to go around. But they're not going to tell you that. They're not going to tell you these things. The farmers are screaming to the top of their lungs trying to warn people, but it's not making it to the press. America is going to go because they just, they're so easily distracted. The whole world is. When they go to the store and they realize that bread is almost $300 a loaf, that's the only way they're going to... They're like, well, what happened? Because their, their heads are in the sand. America has 10 days of fuel, emergency fuel left. If the World War III happened today, our American soldiers would run out of gas within 24 hours. There would be a major shortage. There's right now a war brewing in Iran in the uh, the choke point there that brings half the oil around the world. America's thinking about putting American soldiers on ships to make sure these ships quit being taken by Iran, which could spark a war there. If anything like that happens right now, your gas is going to go to $20 a gallon overnight because Russia's already cut back, Saudi Arabia's already cut back, and we don't, we, we're not making oil because Biden says it's just really bad. Let me tell you something. The world has bought into this, this garbage to the point, not realizing that's the tribulation that's getting ready to happen. They think it's global warming. It's not. It's judgment upon the world. Do you understand what I'm telling you? This is not global warming. It's judgment upon the earth. The king is coming to get the church. And then he comes back and he's taken back this planet. Be ready, church. We fly soon. Everything he taught us, everything is there. All the great prophets of old, from the Old Testament to the New Testament, told us about these days and you're living in it. Be a light in the darkness. Try to get as many people on the ark as possible. We will not be here much longer. I love it. I love each and every one of you. I promise. Even if you can't stand me and I get on your nerves, I still love you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. <laughs>